No, you are not seeing things or imagining things. Yes, I am back only a day after my last video. What has prompted this video, you say? I received this in the mail today. The Stony Creek Magazine, the annual holiday issue, and I thought I would do a flip through because there's actually a pattern I like in here. I normally hate everything in this magazine. <laughs> so that makes you wonder, why did I subscribe? I wanted something different. On the off chance that I do see something that I like, which I did. But first I'll give you an update on, on Peony because I did do some stitching since my, yeah, I did all of this yesterday. And I don't know if you saw this. Yeah, you did. You saw that. But yeah, I did all this fill in. So moving right along on that. So real quick, I'll tell you about books. I started that book, the one fucking hated it. F word. Yeah. Hated that book. Um, couldn't get into it. So I'm really sorry that I bought it instead of being able to get a sample of it. So I think I found one to read. I'll keep you posted. But yeah, let's do a flip throw, huh? Okay. Well, they actually show you on the inside cover all of their Christmas stuff. All of their Christmas books. That's a lot. Now, the one reason I normally hate Stony Creek is because of all the backstitch. They have a lot of backstitch. So, they have their letters. And here's more Christmas ornaments, stockings, and more. They advertise their books. I was pleasantly surprised at the pattern I found, though. Okay, I gotta find something to cover. Here we go. Here are some Christmas ornaments. These are actually pretty cute. I like this one. I don't know if I'll stitch it. But yeah, they're actually pretty cute. And they call them, it just says Countdown to Christmas, Christmas Ornament Trio. Now these are cute too for those of you who like Christmas towels. I like those, the one color things. Santa's sleigh and dancing in the snow they are called. Here's another cute one called Christmas Love Redbirds. Yeah, I like that one. Like I said, backstitch at the yin yang. And that's just their signature. And here is a Joy Snowman bookmark, and they have the pattern right on the page, so I have to cover that up. But there's the bookmark. Cute. Although it looks like the O is strangling the snowman. <laughs> Just my observation. And then on the other page, here's a cute one called Friendly Mailbox Welcome. That little deer with the wreath on his neck. Very cute. And that pattern stretches for a couple pages. Now this one I did really like, but I don't think I'll stitch it. It's called Holy Night. What caught my eye was the blue star. I really, really like that. Now this looks like a button or clay. This is actually, what's it say? Yeah, it's a button, a long white glitter bow. So there's actually, it's actually glittery. Because Stony Creek makes their own buttons for a lot of their patterns. So, yeah, I really like that, though. And then you get into some Halloween ones. This is called Batty Pumpkin. You know I love Halloween, but I don't really like that one. And Snowman Trio Banner. This is kind of cute. Yeah. Again, backstitch, backstitch, backstitch. Oh my God, backstitch. Now, this one's kind of cool, and they actually stitch it on, picture this plus fabric. Although the cat looks, this is called Halloween Cat Pumpkin Banner. Original title. Yeah, the cat's kind of weird looking though, right? But I like this Happy Halloween down here and the banner. But yeah, picture this plus fabric for that one. Here is a Christmas one called Prince of Peace Sampler. This is actually very pretty for those who like samplers. Yeah, I even like that. Not that I'll stitch it, but... 
the the very last design in this magazine is the one that I like and I'm going to stitch. Okay, I started laughing and I messaged Tracy P. She hasn't written me back yet, though. The next installment of the Halloween Village Afghan that she has started and uh, is in there. This thing is amazing looking, but wow, is that big. Holy crap. Big, big, big. Yeah, that stretches over a couple pages. There are some Halloween towels. These are called Going Baddie and Best Witches. They're cute. I like the bat. Yeah, that stretches over a couple. They have Four Seasons Barn. Yeah, I don't really like this one at all. Just not my taste. We're getting to the back. They have two more towels. I didn't realize towels were this popular. Where have I been living, right? One is called, they're called beachy towels. Whatever floats your boat and just beachy. Very fitting for being in the middle of summer. And then finally we come to the design that I like and it caught my eye. And it is the last design in the magazine. It is called On Beach Time. Don't you love that? It uses all over dyed threads. It uses Weeks Dye Works and Thread Works. The word beach is actually in Thread Works Army Fatigue. And you use Weeks Dye Works Sandcastle, Dirt Road, and Capri. So the blue is the Capri. I love this. And you, you have to get the Seagull buttons. Stony Creek makes them. Now, this Saturday... I am going to my LNS the Stitching Post in Catonsville for a stitch night. My Jill's coming. I was going to bring Peony Pixie to work on, but it's kind of cumbersome to bring the scroll rods to stitch. So I want to start this. I may have off work tomorrow. If I do, I will go to the Stitching Post and buy the threads so I can get a head start before Saturday. I emailed them to ask if they have the buttons. I am waiting to hear back about that. If they don't have the buttons, I'll just order them directly from Stony Creek. They're $3 a piece, so it'll cost $9 for the buttons. But the seagulls, you gotta have them. And I figure when I get a framed, because this is only four by six stitched on 28 count fabric, I'll get a teal frame. I'll get a frame to match the blue. But yeah, I figure I can get that done pretty quickly. I just really, really like that. Really like that. Now, I hope you're not seeing it backwards. I just realized that. I don't think you do, though. I think you're going to see it the right way. I'll find out when I watch the back. But the fabric I picked, they stitched this on white. No, you know me. I'm not stitching anything just on white fabric. Oh, well, they have one more. It's a, their free pattern of the month called Scary Night Halloween. This is actually pretty awesome. I like this a lot. Now, I'm going to stitch this on Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie, 32 count, 32 count, the hell am I saying, 28 count Lugana in Melody. This is the fabric. That doesn't show it good at all. I'm going to use that needle minder. It's like a star that I got from Brenda's Minders and more. This is like a sort of a cream colored fabric with hints of purple, yellow, blue. I think it'll look fantastic. And I already had it, so win-win, right? But yeah, and I put it on stretcher bars because it's pretty small and be easy to take with me on Saturday. But yeah, I don't think that's gonna show that very well. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said 32 count. Now, when I go to the stitching post, I may also, I didn't mean to flip my glasses up, that was funny. I may also buy the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue that just came out. They have some, and you know I love Halloween and love all that, so if I do buy that, I will come right home tomorrow and do another video.
for you guys doing a flip through of that. As I look at it live, it'll be live reaction. How about that? So this is a quick one, only 10 minutes. Just wanted to give you a flip through of that. I'm going to start doing that because I get just about all the, well, there's only two U.S. magazines now, Stony Creek and Just Cross Stitch, and I get both. So I figure that'll save somebody from buying them that may not want to, or it will help you buy it. It'll help you decide. So I hope you all having a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.